Hey, this is Jaxer at FreeAutomechanic.com. Today we're going to take a look at the heater switch problem on the Chevy Silverados. Well, it turns out they come on when you're just driving down the road. It can be very distractive. If you're driving trying to pay attention to what's going on, your seat starts heating up and you got to constantly look over and try and turn off your switch. So what we're going to do today is just go ahead and replace yeah, it. There's a few bolts. A few little things you got to take off. You got to take off your door lock, manual door lock selector lever. You take off your entry handle or exit handle rather. Take this cover off right here. And there's a one bolt here, and then you got to take this out. There's another one up front. Pop those out. There's a screw behind this one. The tools you need to replace the, the switch. Of course, you're going to need the switch. You need a T20 Torx bit. You know, the star shaped kind. And you're going to need a quarter inch. Seven millimeter for two bolts, the T20s for the for one bolt, and then you can use a, a flat screwdriver or this fancy tool, the UT4 from Mac, and probably some other ones out there to take the plastic pins out. You could use a couple screwdrivers or a knife, whatever you got handy. Those are pretty much the only tools you're gonna it looks need. Looks like we need to take the trim piece off here. And then we'll just slide the door panel up a little bit and it'll come off. Take a screwdriver or a pocket knife and just slip it under the edge of the manual door lock. Pop it off of there and expose this hidden bolt here. And then make a tool for this. It's a Mac UT4. If you don't have it, use what you got. You just pry on it and it pulls it right out. The one on this side is just a, a cap cover. You can pop it off with a screwdriver or pocket knife. Just covers up this little bolt right here. Just for looks. This bolt takes a T20 Torx, Torx head bit. Take the trim panel off. You just want to grab it from the top. Pull carefully. You can see the little part right here goes back in that way when you put it back on. Once you get the three bolts out, pretty much all you got to do is just grab a hold of it and lift up. Make sure the lip gets up off of the top there. And away she goes. And then you got to un disconnect your wires if you're going to fool with that. I can leave them connected because all I'm going to do is replace the switch up here, which is right, right here. Just reach in there and squeeze the little tab in, pull the connector right out. When it comes to removing the switch, now that you got the electrical connector unplugged, just uh, reach behind the back side, see the wires on this side hang over the edge, so I'm going to push them this side here, which is on the back edge of the corner, just push it out and then remove it. And install in reverse order. Make sure you get this edge underneath there. And pop it back in on this side. That's it. It's nice and secure. Just put the panel back on. You're you good to go. Put the panel back on. Make sure that you line the little hooks back up with the holes. There's some three on top, two on the bottom. I'm gonna slide those down in there all together. And that way it'll be nice and secure. You'll notice the holes line up 
if they don't line up perfectly then you need to reconfigure it and slide the notches back inside the door so it sits right make sure that your door lock rod moves freely still that your bolt holes line up properly here here and then of course on the back you just got your three bolts put your covers back on there and on the handle Trim piece. Put your trim panel back on. You want to test it out. So start your vehicle up. Go ahead and check your operation. Everything seems to be working. You can check your seat positioning if you want. Everything seems to work. And of course for this issue, you got to drive it a while and see if it comes on automatically or not. So we'll test it over the next few weeks and uh, make sure that's taken care of everything. If you need any more information or want some procedures from the manual, contact freeautomechanic.com and we'll take care of it.